It's just another sunny afternoon in the panhandle. Hey everybody, Coast Deal Bill here. Come to you from out the farm. How y'all doing today? What we got going on? I brought my Rossi R92 chambered in 357 out. Hadn't shot it in a little while. Out of all of my lever guns, the 357, I gotta admit, it is probably my my favorite, or I definitely shoot it more than I do any of the other ones. So, a little bit of steel down there. Nobody come up with a name for this guy yet. Agent 99. So, y'all comment. See what we can name this guy before we start shooting him. But I only shot him one time. All right, anyway, like I said, we got a steel down there. Sun is perfectly wrong for shooting today. I'm over here at a different angle in the shape of what I normally am. So we're going to set up. I got my mystery revolver with me and uh, let's lob some 357 and some 38s. Y'all hang on. Mystery revolver. Go ahead and figure out what this one is. Yeah, I must have a primer blowout on it. It's just locked up there pretty good. These don't do you a whole lot of good if you don't use them. That shit was loud. What we got going on today? Well, we shoot the guns. <laughs> what the hell? What kind of questions that? Got a pile of 38 rounds here. May not be shooting them in the revolver anymore today. But well, I got my Rossi R92. This one's chambered at 357 carbine. <clears throat> when I got it, I could never keep it zero. And come to find out, the front sight was a little bit loose. And it had to shoot, it moved a little bit this way, I'd move it back. Got tired of moving it back and forth, so my old eyes were ready for this here little doe, a uh, little red dot I put on it. And that's what I did. What am I doing? I'm shooting my gun. 357. I'm just gonna mix it up. For 38, 357. I got a bunch. Everything I'm shooting today is hand loads. Uh, these are spear, uh, 148 grain, semi-jacketed, semi-jacketed soft points, flat points, and I shoot these in both my revolvers. Oh, and uh, and rifle. Shoot real well have so far. I did have a batch that uh, evidently I had bad crimps on and uh, they wouldn't they wouldn't shoot the way I wanted them to but that was on me. I had uh, a crimp that wasn't worthy and uh, of course you know if it ain't right it ain't right if it ain't right it ain't gonna run that one jumped back out on me. Did y'all see that? I think that's the last one. I didn't even count them. Did y'all count them? <laughs> All 
right, that was the last one. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but when I couldn't get this round all the way in, it was pushed up in the gate that far right there. Now, when these guns are brand new, the inside of this gate right here has got a edge. It's got a lip on it where I guess they punch it out or whatever. And had I not worn it and it not worn when they're brand new, you push it in and when that string starts to push it back out, the edge inside of that will bite into this brass. Putting it into it, it'll drag it. And when you try to get it back out, it'll bite into it. And you'll play hell getting that puppy out. Oh. So what I did, I did it in one of my other videos. I talked about it. I take a knife steel, like you'd use in a butcher shop. And uh, I take that knife steel and I go in here and home this out. And it works really, really well. R92 chambered in 357 Magnum little carbine this is a fun little gun this is a fun little rifle like I said I put that little what is that a true glow yeah 75 65 dollars worth of sighting on it and hey uh, I hit with it when I can't hit with the iron sights at least I know I can hit with this guy. So, got that old eyes things going on. Alrighty, get you guys out from here. Cold Steel Bill, coming to you from out at the farm. Glad you would join me today. Thank you very much for staying with me. If you would, hit that like button. I don't ever ask anybody to do that, but I'll ask you today. And uh, I'll be out here in a few more days. Don't know. Uh, I haven't done a video on my Rossi 44 Magnum in a very, very long time. So 
I'll probably do my next video out here and we'll be doing the Rossi 44 Magnum uh, the R92 model that's it guys just wanted to bring you out shoot my little rifle with me and the mystery gun it's locked up on me I think it has some primer blowout in it but I don't know we'll see I hadn't shot it yet that it hadn't given me a little bit of a problem somehow so but that's okay <laughs> I can't call it a certain POS because I don't know what it is <laughs> hey yeah I don't have a clue who made that thing can y'all see that logo I've looked at that logo right there under a jeweler's loop and you can't you you know there's a little bit of outline where it's embossed but the rest of it is all faded out scratched out and it wasn't very deep to start with love you mean it au revoir mi amigos adios bye